Quickly before this video starts, I'm really sorry about the gameplay sound. I accidentally clicked the wrong setting when I was recording this gameplay, so there's no gameplay sound. I'll put a bit of music in the background. Hopefully you enjoy this video, and yeah, just once again, I'm sorry about that. And uh, yeah, anyway, enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up, Zax here. Today, you guys wanted to see a different Formula 1 video that wasn't F1 news or, you know, F1 2013 career mode or anything. So I decided to do an F1 2015 driver predictions video, and... It's the sort of time of the year that we all start doing them, so you know, if anyone else wants to do them, just let me know uh, what you guys think in the comment section, or if you want to make a video, just leave it in the in the comments as well, and I'll you know look through them and see what you guys think. So yeah, I'm gonna go through all the teams, and I'm gonna tell you who is apparently confirmed according to Wikipedia, which I guess is normally right. And uh, but you know, nowadays contracts are so meaningless in a way because someone can get their contract ripped up because. Charles Peake actually had a contract for 2014, but he didn't race. So yeah, let's get into this and start off with Red Bull. They have both their drivers confirmed of Ricardo and Vettel. Even if there is some you know, talk of Vettel possibly going for Ferrari next year, I, I really think it's unlikely. Vettel will stay with Red Bull for at least one more year and just see how everything turns out for him. So yeah, Red Bull set with Ricardo and Vettel. Ferrari are supposedly set with Alonso and Raikkonen, but we always hear news about both of them moving or quitting Formula 1, so who knows. But if they do decide to get rid of them, one of them, I think it will be Bianchi that takes the, you know, takes the step because I think he's been done so well in the Marussia. He did really, really well in the Ferrari test as well. So I think he deserves a Ferrari Formula 1 seat. I mean, I'll get on to Hulkenberg later, but I think Bianchi probably would have been the best choice over Raikkonen of this year. I know there are lots of Raikkonen fans, but he hasn't done incredibly well this year. So I think Bianchi might have been the better choice. And if they do decide to either get rid of Raikkonen or get rid of Alonso, or they either of them switch teams and get their contract get rid of, uh, I think Bianchi will be the person to step up to the plate. He's done a really good job, and I think he does deserve finally uh, a top seat. But, you know, Ferrari have been saying it's not the plan next year to go uh, with Bianchi, but we'll see what happens, who knows, crazy stuff happens towards the end of the season, and especially if Bianchi gets more points, uh, who knows what Ferrari will end up doing. Anyway, Mercedes, simple, both of them have got their contract sealed, Rosberg and Hamilton, so we'll be seeing them on the grid next year, hopefully battling as close as they are this year, but hopefully with a car that's a little bit slower and uh, can be competing with the rest of them, so yeah, that's that. McLaren have neither driver signed, but I'm sort of. I'm pretty sure Button will stay for another year. I, I'm not sure. He's been very loyal to McLaren. He probably could have switched, you know, to another team at some point. But he's been loyal to McLaren through their ups and downs over the last like four or five years. And I think they'll retain him for what I think will be his last season. And as a second driver, I'm not really too sure. Magnussen, you would feel, deserves another year. But you know, McLaren are pretty ruthless in that sense because they just they got rid of Perez out of nowhere when he probably deserves at least a second year so it's whether you deserve one or and whether they'll give you one at McLaren so if they do think Magnussen deserves a second season which I think he does uh, he'll obviously get that second spot or if they don't think he's done well enough I actually think Roman Grosjean might be in the you know it's just sitting there hopefully getting that seat because I think Grosjean's had a terrible season in a terrible car and I think he deserves to have, you know, he deserves to stay in Formula 1 is what I'm trying to say here. He's a world-class driver. He took the fight to Vettel to the, at the end of 2013 in a car which wasn't as fast as the Red Bull. So I'm hoping to see Grosjean stay in Formula 1, but who knows? He doesn't bring a huge amount of money with him anymore. I think when he first got into Formula 1, he did. But nowadays, he doesn't bring a huge amount in comparison to a lot of drivers. So, yeah, even Magnussen or Grosjean, I think, is the second seat at McLaren. Now Lotus have their driver, well one driver confirmed of Maldonado, he brings obviously a lot of sponsorship in and he has, obviously has won a Grand Prix and has been fast in the past. So we all know he's a fast driver, whether he's really a great driver, it's people's opinion, but he can, when, you know, when it's his day he's world class, he's a lot better than a lot of people out there, but when it's not his day, which is too often sadly, he is crashing into people and hitting people for the track, which none of us like to see. And as a second driver, they've not listed one yet or named one yet, but I think it'll either be Grosjean or Palmer. If Grosjean doesn't get the McLaren seat, I think he'll stay with Lotus, but if Grosjean does get a McLaren seat or maybe even something else, I think Julian Palmer in GP2, who's currently leading the championship, will probably, he might get that seat. We've seen uh, his dad hanging around in the Lotus garage a lot in the GP2 races, so uh, there must be some sort of connection there. 
uh, well I just feel there is maybe there isn't but who knows what happened I mean that's another oil company that Lotus would be sponsored by and I don't know how many they can really keep up on their car without some sort of conflicts obviously uh, Julian Palmer and Jonathan Palmer you know the whole family are associated with an oil company so uh, well, who knows what's gonna happen with that uh, Force India two drivers are signed up Perez and Hulkenberg who knows whether both of them will stay on I assume Perez will definitely stay because he's got a huge amount of money behind him as well as a Mexican Grand Prix next year and Hulkenberg well he's probably not going to get the chance to go to a better team a lot of them are locked out at the top as I've already discussed so his only really options are McLaren or Lotus at this current time I don't particularly think he would you know, I don't think he'd risk it because both of them have had pretty bad seasons and Force India have been well ahead of Lotus and mostly ahead of McLaren. Sauber, I assume they'll retain Gutierrez. This year has been sort of just a, a nothing season in a way. I think both uh, both Sauber drivers in a way deserve a second chance, but more so Gutierrez. The car's been so bad, he hasn't really had the chance to get many points, so I think he deserves another season. And a second driver, you know, I'm a fan of Sutil, but I don't think he deserves another season. He hasn't done very well. Most of the time he's behind Gutierrez, and Gutierrez brings in a hell of a lot more money than him. So I think Gutierrez should stay, but Sutil should be kicked out the the squad. And I think Di Silvestro, the, the woman driver that's been uh, kicking up a lot of storm recently because she's been doing really well in the Sauber test and everything. So I think she might have the chance of going into that Sauber seat for next year. Brings in a lot of money as well. So that would be good for Sauber. A lot of money. A woman driver actually racing is going to be a big thing as well. We all know she's a really, really good driver. She's got on the podium in IndyCar and always up the front in IndyCar. But a slightly bad team last year actually really meant that she couldn't be up there fighting for wins week in, week out. But I think... In all honesty, she's the fastest woman driver out there at the moment and she does deserve a chance. Hopefully we'll see her in more tests and maybe even a free practice session towards the end of the year. Uh, Toro Rosso, probably going to keep the same drivers, Kvyat and Vern. I can't see them putting science into the Toro Rosso to be honest. Uh, he's had a decent season in World Series by Renault but he really, he really hasn't had a huge amount of competition. The World Series by Renault competition this year has been pretty poor. I mean, obviously, they're all faster than I would be in a World Series by Renault car, but I'm sitting here talking over a video. I'm not a racing driver, and really, the drivers in the, that's, you know, that championship this year haven't been as good as uh, previous seasons. So I honestly think Kvyat and Verne will get another year. Kvyat obviously go into a second season, and Verne, it would be his fourth season wouldn't it yes yeah, fourth season with Toro Rosso I don't know whether they'll really think you know whether you know they normally do it in two year stints or two and a half year stints three year stints but I, I really don't know what's happening with Toro Rosso Kvyat I think is pretty much a certain staying he's done a really good job this year but then Vern has done better than him but then he's had more experience so what do you do with that Vern's obviously good uh, but is he really better than Kvyat in the long run I don't know we'll see what happens with that uh, Williams, both drivers confirmed, Massa and Bottas, however Massa keeps uh, crashing and stuff, which uh, I hope he doesn't, but it seems to be the case this year, he's only finished like 4 or 5 races, if I'm correct, maybe I'm wrong, I think he's finished 4, 5, 6 races and not that many, um, so I think if he does keep crashing they'll probably actually bring in Nasa because obviously they've got that sponsorship, that Brazilian sponsorship and Felipe Nasa and Felipe Massa are sponsored by the same people so if Massa keeps crashing and gets involved in accidents they could just bring in Nasa, it's the same person sponsoring them and if Williams genuinely think that Nasa will be a better asset to their team than Massa I think they'll just go with it but I, I think that Massa will pick up towards the end of the season I hope because I want, him to, see him. I want to see him in Formula 1 because he's just such a nice guy uh, but I think he is definitely getting towards the end of his career and Bottas obviously certain he's got to stay in Formula 1 he's done an amazing job this year um, Russia uh, sadly for the, the Chilton fans I think it'll be his last year and um, I put down Bianchi just at Russia just in case he doesn't get another drive and really I don't really know the only other team I can see him going to really is Sauber and Sauber have got like a million drivers in the lineup, so I don't honestly think he's going to Sauber. So I don't. I really hope he isn't in the Marussia and hope he's in a better car. But I think Bianchi might have to do another season in Marussia before Raikkonen finally leaves Formula One and he can go in there or, or Alonso. But it looks more likely it's going to be Raikkonen and Felipe Nasr from uh, GP2 with Carlin. Carlin always had links with. Marussia, so I think that's just going to work out like that, and especially if Nasser can't get the Williams seat. And then last up, we have got Caterham, 
uh, need the drivers assigned. As I should, I should have said with the uh, Marussia need the drivers assigned. Uh, Caterham got no drivers signed, and I think they'll put Carlos Sainz Jr. in. Obviously, I've talked about him earlier uh, from World Series by Renault 3.5. And then if Palmer doesn't get that Lotus seat, which uh, this is a, kind, of, kind of a big thing if he does get the Lotus seat, but I think it's more realistic if he he might get this Caterham seat. Um, obviously, Caterham need a lot of money. He brings in a lot of money, so I think that's just going to work out like that. So. Yeah, that's it. Leave your comments down below about who you think is going to be driving for who. So the, the drivers and uh, teams that haven't got anyone sort of, you know, that have sorry, that have got spaces. McLaren have got two spaces. Lotus have got one space. Sauber have got two spaces. Taurus have got two spaces. Marussia and Cater have both got two spaces. And uh, yeah, everyone else is fully booked up with their drivers. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for tuning into this video. And until next time, Spinax and Mad here. Goodbye. So talking about this career mode, make it a lot more accessible to as many people as possible. Because normally, well, all of the F1 games so far, you had to do the full season and all that sort of stuff. But now, you don't have to do the full season. You can choose from shorter seasons, including 7 and 12 race options for a season. So I'm not sure whether that's you choosing the races, or maybe you just get given a set amount of races that you need to do. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. I'm sure there's going to be more information on that soon.